Hi friends, I am going to quite a few stores today. I'm kind of trying to hit my midweek money maker. I have 15 offers for free dollars back on Ibotta, but if any of the items I'm going after are out of stock, I'm not gonna go after it because it's only free bucks. But I do have a lot of freebies using coupons and especially Shopkick that I'm excited to show you this week. So first up is Walgreens. I have a 7,000 points or $7 on Walgreens cash paper booster. And there is also a spend 25, get $5 back in Walgreens cash digital that is resetting a bunch of times. It's not just a one use. So I'm using two of these $2 off degree coupons. I'm getting a men and a women. They're both six to 49 and they are buy one, get one half off. And if you buy four of these participants, Participating items, you also get a $4 register reward. So I'm also grabbing four of the Axe sprays. I'm using two of the buy one, get one free coupons. And then these are also on the buy one, get one half off. And they're part of that $4 register reward promotion. And then to hit my $30 spend up before coupons to get that 7,000 booster, I was only at like $29.19, so I grabbed a dollar bag of these cookies to hit my $30 basket. Okay, we are back in the car and I got my $4 register reward with no issue and everything rang up just like it was supposed to. You can see uh, all four of the axes here and then also the degrees. And then those nice cookies I bought, they were supposed to have a dollar Walgreens cash back is like a just for you coupon, but the bag was all messed up on the barcode, so she had to manually punch it in. So I didn't get that, but I was only um, buying that one to tip me over my $30 uh, before coupons. So there's all my coupons that came off. So I paid $13.21 out of pocket and I did pay um, all cash for that. So I could get all my points back. I got 12.30 in points, making this about a free dollar money maker after that four dollar register reward. Next stop is Target. I'm going after the spend 40 on health and beauty, get a ten dollar gift card. I did a different scenario of this last week if you want to check it out, but this time I'm using some different coupons. Okay, first up, I am using a buy one any axe, get a dry spray free coupon. It was in the last Unilever Super Saver, so I'm getting this axe body wash at free 99 and I also have a buy one any Dove body wash, get a Dove deodorant stick free, so I'm getting a $5.29 body wash here. And then for the Dove stick, the coupon only covers up to $5.29, so I got a cheaper one at $5.19 to make sure it was completely covered. And then for the dry spray, it has a value up to $7, I believe. So I got one of the more spendy ones at $5.69, and that was completely covered by the coupon. Next up, I'm getting two of the Suave Men Free in One at $2.99. There's a 10% off Target Circle offer you'll clip. And then these had little trial sizes on here, but they are the regular $2.99s. There is 75 cents back each on fetch. I had two left, so I got $1.50 back from fetch. And then I did use a $2 off of any two Suave Professionals hair care product coupon that came out in that same Unilever Super Saver insert, making it $1.88 for the pair. Next, I'm grabbing two of these simple 25 count wipes. They're $4.49 each. We have a buy one, get one free coupon from that same Unilever Super Saver insert. And then there's a dollar back each on Ibotta, making it $2.49 for the pair. Now we're heading to the makeup section for these Neutrogena wipes. They're the Makeup Remover 21 Count. Um, you cannot do this with the wipes in the regular aisle near the simple facial wipes. It has to be these makeup removers. They're $4.99. There's a free dollar digital coupon that you clip to your Target account, making them just $1.99. Here's another easy digital deal. The CoverGirl eyeliner pencils are $4.49. There is a free dollar digital coupon that you'll clip, making them $1.49. So before coupons, this entire basket is $44. After coupons, it was $20.60 free. Minus all of the rebates and your $10 gift card you're getting, it's $2.79 for everything. Okay, we are back in the car from Target and everything went awesome. I just wanted to show you the receipt because I know for some people they like seeing the breakdown on paper. So um, I did also get 
two things of pot stickers and I didn't show the deal in this video. I did go over it in detail last week, so if you want to see the breakdown on that, just look at my last Target video. But then here is all the Men's Suave that I got, the Simple, the Axe, the Dove, the Neutrogena Wipes, and those eyeliners. So before my red card savings, it was $34.93. That took off $1.25. And then I did use a $10 gift card that I got from a previous transaction. And then I also did receive a $10 gift card on this transaction as well. So I wasn't going to video in Fred Meyer, but I found these Tresemme on clearance for $1.50 for the Boutiniques and also the Propiers. We have $2 paper coupons with a limited two, which would give you 50 cents of overage of pop. And then there was also the normal Tresemme on deep clearance, but we don't have any coupons right now. So last stop of the day was Walmart. I was glad to get this done. It was a very long day. <laughs> Starting off, I totally grabbed the wrong toothpaste. I was going to get the gum renewal, not just normal renewal, but I'll explain at the end. Um, next, I grabbed a Tresemme Pro Advanced Shampoo. They're $4.94. We have a $1.50 paper coupon. And then there's $3.60 on Shopkick, making it a $0.16 cent money maker. Next, we have a really awesome Shopkick bundle. Starting off, we're getting a Gillette Antiperspirant Clear Gel in the trial section. This is $1.97. There's a dollar back on Ibotta on this guy, making it $0.97. Cents. But then the second half of this Shopkick bundle, we're going to get a Ivory Body Wash for free 97 there's $0.50 cents back on my points or swag bucks, and then there's a $4.40 bundle for getting these two, making it $0.04 cents for the pair. I'm really excited about the Shia Moisture freebie. I love this brand. So you're going to get one of the Apricot Honey and one of the Cocoa Almond. You can get um, different scents. Just make sure you have one of each as shown in the Shopkick bundle. They're $7.97 each. You're going to get $2 each back on Ibotta. And then there's a $7.44 bundle on Shopkick. And we have a $5 off of two paper coupon that came out in the Unilever Super Saver, making it a 50 cent money maker. Now, there is an Ibotta freebie. I accidentally grabbed the wrong one and then put it back after this clip. It's the Starbucks Triple Shot Zero Sugar. Not this one, but it's $2.68 back, making it completely free. Now, I didn't do this one myself, but the Pillsbury Funfetti Oreos $2.12, and there's $0.25 cents back on Ibotta, making it $1.87. Then I found this new app called Inbox Dollars. It's owned by the same company that does Swagbucks and My Points, but they had a dollar back on any eggs, and these were a dollar forty-one, so it made it just forty-one cents for a dozen, which is awesome. And they also had one for two dollars back on any milk. Now this was a dollar seventy-six, I think, so about a twenty-four cent money maker. Then last, a never easy freebie, the Parmesan Cheese by Crafts 2.98. We have 2.98 back on Ibotta, making it completely free. So I am back home and have ran all my receipts, and I have a couple things to go over with you here before I wrap this up. Uh, just real quick, this is the pickup order that I posted about, I believe, my last video about how I got free Aussie shampoos. So if you want to see how the digital coupons look and the sale in the app, definitely look at that because I did a screen record while I placed the order. And then these Vita Cocoa Boosters, I got them from Walmart. It was a field agent offer, so it's not really a coupon breakdown, so I didn't include it in the video, but they were $2.78 each. And then the way field agent works is they pay you to buy items and then review them. So they reimbursed me for the $2.78 I paid um, times free. And then there was a free dollar bounty for reviewing them. So field agent is really nice. Um, definitely sign up for it if you haven't already. But I do not recommend these things. The vanilla one was okay, but the chocolate one was horrible and the chai one was horrible. It's caffeinated coconut water with MCT oil. It's really weird. This thing has, oh, where is it? 40% of your saturated fat for the day <laughs> and a lot of sugar. And it just tastes like weird, oily, like the version of LaCroix 
but with coconut water, it's like chocolate sneezed on a coconut and then got dunked in oil. It's just bad. <laughs> um, so I was trying to go after that free dollar midweek moneymaker bonus for Ibotta off 15 offers, but my store was out of stock of a bunch of stuff and I had already been out so long. I didn't want to wait around in the store trying to think of four more offers to get it. So I just said to hell with it for with a couple. And then I have the eggs and the milk in the fridge, but I did want to pull this one back out. So this is the one I got at Walmart. It was $2.98 and there's a free Ibotta offer for $2.98 back. There is also a freebie I bought an offer on the same product at Walmart and or not Walmart and Fred Meyer and Kroger affiliates so you have to get the Walmart one and then also a Kroger affiliate one and there's free 50 back on that one because it's more expensive at those stores and then if you do both of them there's a 50 cent bonus so you could get two things of cheese and a 50 cent money maker but my Fred Meyer, like they listed it on their website that they sold it, but they didn't actually have it in store. So um, I didn't get it. Then this is the Walgreens pickup stuff. And then the Walgreens stuff I showed you. And then I also wanted to give you a version if you don't have those boosters I mentioned. For this haul, I used the spend 25, get five uh, dollars back in points digital. I believe everyone should have that. It's advertised all over the store. And then I did have a $7 back when you spend 30 paper booster that printed out at the register. But this can still be a really good deal if you don't have boosters, like if you just have coupons. So I did a never transaction when I went in to pick these up. All I did was I got two sprays and two sticks and I used two of the buy one any axe get a dry spray free. And all of this is still buy one, get one half off. And all of these are participating items for that same $4 register reward promotion I talked about earlier. So this was $6.48. I used $5 of rewards, but ignore that. So I got $4 register reward back on this, making all four of these only $2.48. So that's about $0.62 cents each, which is still an amazing price for Axe. And then I did not get... The Tresemme Boutiniques that I showed earlier in Fred Meyer, the ones that were on clearance. Now, per Fred Meyer coupon policy, I did look at it. There is a little clause that says if your basket goes negative from coupons used, and the only way that would happen is if the coupon is more than the product you're buying, um, that they're supposed to credit it back to your shopper's card. And I have messaged customer support before about digital coupons not applying and it was on a clearance thing and they did give me the amount. So I know for sure that they will let you use a valid coupon on a clearance item that's less than the amount. But uh, when I got, I went for self-checkout and when you have a coupon that is providing overage, when it's more than the amount, it prompts for a manager to approve it which all it means is they just have to look at it and approve it. Um, but my self-checkout cashier would not let the manager come over and was just swearing up and down, no, we don't do that, no, we can't take it. So I had her avoid it off. And I, like I said a couple times, it was a very long day and I didn't feel like fighting it. So um, it might just be my store. My Fred Meyer systems are really finicky. Like they won't take more than one of a kind of a coupon. Even if it says limit uh, two identical per transaction, their computers just freeze up and they won't uh, go through. So I think mine are just really weird. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the only thing I ended up getting at Fred Meyer are two more of the Dial Clean and Gentle Body Wash. And I've posted about this deal a ton of times. They're on sale free 99 each. We have buy one, get one, any Dial Body Wash free. And then we have $1.50 back on Ibotta on the Clean and Gentle. It's only on the Clean and Gentle. And Fred Meyer or Kroger affiliate stores are the only store I can find where this coupon does not beep. So um, you're only paying for one. You're getting $3 back from Ibotta, making it $0.99 cents for the pair. And then I wanted to talk to you about Target. So I know I said in the video that I looked at my receipt and everything went great. But when I got home and started doing my math, I realized it didn't. Now, all of the coupons I used on the Suave, the Axe, the Dove, the Simple, 
These are all Unilever coupons. All of them are from the Unilever Super Saver. I don't know what is up with Unilever coupons, but they just go crazy. Either they don't work, they beep, or they attach to random stuff. Or they do really weird things, which is what happened here. So I had a $2 off of two, any suave professional. Now where did that suave go? So $2 off of two. It took 66 cents off this, and I did nothing to that. And then I had the simple coupon, which was buy one, get one free. That went through. And then the Dove, buy one, get one free worked. So I don't know what that 66 cents is. And then it says like minus 276. And then I have no idea what this dollar 34 is. The system like spliced up my coupons and attached it to random stuff. So I was expecting to pay quite a bit out of pocket because I bought these pot stickers. So I didn't count it in the car or I didn't catch it in the car. But um, just be really careful with this Unilever coupons if you use them. I would advise um, give them one at a time to your cashier when you're checking out. Like, um, let them scan the simple, give them the simple coupon, then wait for them to scan the axe, then give them the axe coupon, then wait for them to scan the swap, then give them the swap coupon. I've had this happen at Walgreens, at Walmart, at Fred Meyer, at Target now too. Unilever just, they're cruddy. They attach to random stuff. So, um, it was still fine. I ended up, I lost about three dollars that I should have gone from those coupons after the computer went crazy. So, in reality, all of this was $3.45. I did, as I mentioned earlier in the video at Walmart, I bought the completely wrong toothpaste. So this is the toothpaste I messed up and got. I should have gone the Colgate Renewal Gum. It looks really, really similar to this guy, and my Walmart said it sold it, but it wasn't on the shelf, and I didn't catch it, and I grabbed this one by accident. They're both the exact same price, so be really careful. Make sure you get the right one. There is a dollar printable coupon from the Colgate website, and it scanned. No problem for this guy. There's $5 back on Ibotta, and then there's $2 back on Shopkick. So this is $6.96. The correct one is also $6.96. If you got the right one, it would be a dollar moneymaker. In my case, it sucked out $5 of my haul because I grabbed the wrong one. So if I had not grabbed the wrong toothpaste and Target hadn't have been weird, this would have all been a $4.47 moneymaker. In reality, it was free 45 because I messed up with the toothpaste and Target was really weird. But um, as long as you grab the right toothpaste and um, either use different coupons at Target or just hand them one at a time to the cashier and then that will force the system to attach it to the right thing because it only has one thing to attach it to so far. And I can't attach a coupon to something that already has a coupon. You will have no problems and everything will go great. And then one other thing I wanted to mention before I let you go. So I have already hit my limit on Fetch. There is a spend $30 at Walgreens on participating Unilever products. Axe and Degree are participating products. Get $10 in points back. I've already hit my limit, so I didn't get anything for this haul. But if you have not done this deal yet... You would also get $10 on this, making it about a $13 money maker. So if you have not done the fetch thing already, definitely run out and do this because I have never seen Axe go this cheap, let alone free. I've never gone this much Axe in the past. Uh, but I will have a breakdown in the description of everything I talked about and also links to all the apps that I mentioned. And if you have questions about any of these deals or apps, um, feel free to leave me a comment and I'd love to chat with you. Uh, but thank you for hanging out with me. I post big hauls like this a couple times every week to uh, give you the heads up on the best deals and also to warn you of potential problems that you can avoid to make things easier on yourself. Uh, but thank you so much and I'll see you later. Bye.